We have some very important Volt ENU updates, but let's first dive into Bitcoin because BTC has quickly and quietly heated up today, up almost 10% on the day. Here's the one-week chart. As you can see, around 36 hours ago, it just started turning upward for no reason at all. That's what happens when bear markets are coming to an end. Prices have just been too low for too long and on no news whatsoever. Markets just start ticking up. That's what's happening here. BTC has been hot for quite a while now. It's up almost 20%. On the month, mainstream media hasn't really picked up on this yet. And of course, you're still going to have the bears out there saying we have one leg to go down or we're going to reach new all-time lows. I really disagree. I'm just seeing the sentiment is totally changing. It's much more positive, many more bullish positive tweets. I'm seeing a lot of small buyers getting involved. I'm seeing a lot of altcoins or meme coins specifically like Bolting New way outperforming, popping ridiculously in the last few weeks. That shows that the retail fan base, that's the kind of the core crypto users are really getting like, stimulated enough to trade. So this is good news. So I'm, you know, obviously black swan events can happen in a typical industry. A black swan event happens every 10 years. Crypto, it's more like every one year because in the last three years, we've had three black swan events, COVID, Terra Luna, and FTX. So yeah, black swan can happen here. It happens frequently once a year in crypto. I don't think it will. And it can happen, but I think the sentiment has definitely changed, and I just more people are bullish. I think the bear market is over. Let's get into some vaulty new news. Third to five burns has been completed. This one was with 15 million, so now 45 million of the 75 million total has been burned. This is good. Some projects announce big burns, but you got to wait a month, a few weeks to do it. Not vaulty new quickly, efficiently. Five days. It will be done tomorrow on Friday. Also, the poll. The official poll about whether Volt should bridge from Ethereum and Binance Smart Chain to Polygon was passed. Everone conducted the poll. This is a crypto company that does polls. And then after the polls pass, they lock liquidity while the bridge is actually, while the project is bridged from one chain to the other. It passed with 99.8% of the vote, just like the the burn uh, vote last week passed 99% of the vote. No surprise there. BSC News picked up on this story here. Just the, the, the bridge vote passed. Again, you know, Vault is on Binance Smart Chain, so it could just be there, you know, following along with one of their projects. Also, remember, Vault is not listed on Binance, so could see ZB notice in some of this stuff. Maybe, maybe not. We shall see. What else? Jake and Rodney's Twitter space every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Yes, I didn't couldn't actually go to the one yesterday. Some family stuff. I, Voltino was sponsoring this one. It was sixteen hundred people tuned in. Usually, the last few I think about been about one third that size, about five six hundred. That just shows the power of Vault. They had all the big influencers in there. Even Voltoshi himself was a speaker and unmuted his mic. Didn't talk yet, but baby steps to step in the right direction towards hearing Voltoshi speak. So he unmuted his mic. I guess it was just breathing. Didn't talk, but, you know, we're making progress there. Voltoshi also tweeted this. When you realize Vault may go to the billion sooner than expected. Obviously, Voltoshi is just bullish as hell. Dave Gokshin was on there. On the thing last night, he talked, Power Right, a bunch of other Volt influencers talked. So lots of good things happening with Volt Enu. Also, more on Voltoshi's video message that was on Monday. So as you remember, he said he's talking to five big exchanges, and then two of them will be listed every any hour, any day now, in some words like that. No one really knows what exchanges those are. You can't really speculate. A lot of people think one is going to be Wazir X. This is the number one exchange in India right now. And I guess Voltoshi in the message, in his video message, made some sort of reference to the fact that he's talking to a big India exchange. This also makes sense because another coin I cover, Baby Doge, they're up even more than Volt. They're up 273%. A lot of the videos I've done, the tweets get a lot of traction. It's mostly people speaking in Hindu. It looks like a lot of Indian people are big into Baby Doge, and then Volti New is also a meme coin, so I think they would also be interested in that right there. I think Voltoshi might be seeing progress that Baby Doge has been made and how the two coins are similar, so he might be kind of specifically targeting Wazir Exchange. I think it's a good fit, very good fit. What else? Some people are also saying KuCoin could be a possibility for one of the two or one of the five exchanges. Why? Because KuCoin just yesterday or today listed real Floki Anu. Floki was popping today. It's popped up 50% on the day. So if Volti New was listed on KuCoin, this is one of them. Look at those gains right there. 50% in one day. Very exciting. Floki Anu is another coin like Baby Doge. has been just a huge tear. It's outperformed both uh, Baby Doge and Volt. It's up 427% on the last month. So this coin is just on fire. The fact that KuCoin is looking at meme, hot meme coins like this 
means yeah do i think kucoin is looking at volt and it's one of the five yeah i i absolutely do you don't know knows for sure except voltoshi but i would be shocked if kucoin is not one of the five if not one of the two it's getting some volt to change updates now 92 projects have now added the widgets for volta change to their websites the 90 seconds was dar llc this is a hybrid crypto platform a little mini app dex is also some gaming elements very cool right there also Volta new and the volta dragon Sierra club that's the nft collection they are sponsoring polygon 2023 it's a metaverse event inside the inverse headquarters celebrating polygon at web3 february 23rd to 25th so we'll see if some of the more Volta dragon Sierra club some of the more nft elements of vault play out right there in a couple weeks very exciting news so for today drop a lightning bolt down below drop a comment be back tomorrow with a new video ben crypto signing out catch you